Okay, we're taking a look at a uh, uh, third uh, question here that says, given h of x is equal to 2x minus 3 over x plus 5, um, h of x clearly is a fractional function, and it says, and m of x is equal to x plus 4, uh, determine the following. So we're going to get straight into this question as well. So <clears throat> the first thing we need to do is to uh, read what is being asked for. It says determine uh, part one, which says h of m of x. So we're finding h of m of x. Now clearly, uh, h of x here uh, would operate as the mother candle, which is 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 5, and the baby kangaroo is clearly m of x, which is equal to x plus 4. So again, the baby kangaroo here uh, is going to be jumping in. Uh, this is like having two, it's like having a twin, two babies. So they're jumping in the pouches, and we're going to proceed with finding the composite function, which is h of m of x here. So therefore, h of m of x is going to be equal to 2 times x plus 4 minus 3 over, and I'm replacing x with x plus 4, so it's x plus 4 plus 5. So this is going to be equal to, we can expand here, so it's 2x plus 8, and we put a minus 3, all over x plus 9 to give us a final answer of 2x uh, plus 5 over x plus 9. And that is essentially what h of m of x is. And obviously that cannot uh, go any further than uh, what we have there. So that will take care of uh, part 1 of the question. Now part 2 is asking us to determine h of m of 0. And again, we're going to utilize h of m of x to find h of m of 0. I'm just going to slide this here, uh, where we can still see the function, and proceed to answer part 2 of the question. So I'm using h of m of x to find h of m of 0. All right. So in part 2, um, since h of m of x is equal to 2x plus 5 over x plus 9, then h of m of 0 simply means we're replacing x with 0. So this is going to be 2 times 0 plus 5 over 0 plus 9, and that is clearly is going to be 5 over 9. 2 times 0 gives us nothing, and the 5 comes back as a numerator, and the denominator clearly is 9. So that will take care of part 2 of the question. Now the final part says determine m of h of x is as a single fraction. Uh, so And that is what we did in the previous question. So we're going to get straight into uh, part 3 and get this question answered. Now, part 3. Okay, so m of h of x is the composite function. The mother function is, uh, sorry, m of h of x and the mother function is uh, m of x, which is x plus 4. And the baby function is h of x, which is 2x minus 3 over x plus 5. And uh, again, a massive baby is going to jump wherever x is, that's where the pouch is. So we're replacing x with 2x minus 3 all over x plus 5. So therefore, m of h of x is going to be equal to 2x minus 3 over x plus 5. Replace x with this function, and then we add 4. Now, we have to remember that 4 is the same as 4 over 1. So in this fraction here, we have x plus 5, and in this fraction here, we have 1. 
and we want to make the denominator the same. So what we're going to do, this one is going to be untouched, but over here we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by x plus 5. And again, establish the single fraction before expansion, that is advised. In this particular case, you can get away because this is a positive. If it were a negative, uh, there is a tendency sometimes to forget that the minus sign, if it was a minus sign, that this sign here is attached to the 4. And then you make a mistake here, especially when you have a negative sign. In this particular case, you would have gotten away with it. All right. So we're just going to always leave the expansion uh, until after you've established the single fraction. And the way that I can have a single fraction here is because the denominators now are going to be the same. Because 1 times x plus 5 is going to be x plus 5. So both fractions have the same denominator. So I'm going to put that there and then add them together. All right. So we're just going to finish up with that. Very, very simple here. So we can actually start the process of expansion now. And there's one case of expansion right there. All right, right here. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, positive 4 times uh, x is 4x. And positive 4 times positive 5 is positive 20 all over x plus 5. So like terms, 2x plus 4x is 6x. And minus 3 plus 20 is positive 17 over x plus 5. And clearly, this cannot be simplified any further. And we've answered the question because it asks us to find the composite function m of h of x as a single fraction. And we have done that, and we're just checking to see if it can be simplified any further. It can't. So therefore, m of h of x is simply 6x plus 17 all over x plus 5. And that will be the answer to part 3 of the question. I hope you guys found this video insightful, and I'll see you guys on the next video.